good morning or should I say good afternoon it is like 2 30 3 o'clock and I just got on trail so I woke up in the hotel room thank you Frodo again and I went to Breckenridge and I stopped at the bunkhouse where Alex and George were and I got to see them and man that bunkhouse is amazing Mitch and Alan they take care of the place I believe Mitch is the owner I'm not sure if Alan's like co-owner I don't know but all I know is really down-to-earth guys beautiful human beings and I got there at like 11 o'clock I just left right now it was just an amazing experience you saw how beautiful the hostel is it's also their their house and man it was just it was great being there I'm glad I stopped in I wish I could have stayed there but I spent too much money in Frisco yesterday and I gotta get a move on so it's already three o'clock I might get to the first campsite at the first water source and call it a day um, heavy pack five days of food I have 66 miles to Leadville and I'll be getting into Leadville on Wednesday taking my zero on Thursday and uh, other than that I'm just gonna get this day started it's a very very late start but like I said it's just a big old question mark on what I'm doing today so oh and it's very smoky because of the fires but even though that's the case most importantly it's still gonna be a beautiful day see that haze everywhere it's because of the fires in California and Arizona and all the other fires well the air quality is really bad up here and it's getting hard to breathe it's already hard to breathe without this smoke so I think I'm getting to the first water source which is like a mile and change maybe a mile now and I'm calling it a day. <sighs> Hopefully me sleeping in this will get my lungs acclimated for tomorrow. Man, it's really hard to breathe in this.
did I do, you ask? Well, let's check the trusty gut hook, shall we? Um, I did 4.1 miles plus the one mile road walk to get back to the trail. So a total of 5.1. I can't go anymore. My foot sent this really weird pain and it made me sit down for like five minutes and my foot was like, it wasn't cramping, but uh, I walk on the inside of my foot and I think that's what's causing all of this pain. And I'm trying to practice walking heel to toe, but my foot does not want to do it. So I notice when I go downhill, try and stay off my toes. Sounds impossible, but I could make it work. It's going to be slow going these next couple of days, so it is what it is, and you can't change what it is because it is what it is. Well, sorry if it was a short video. I only did four miles on the trail, but I still had a good day. I am very, very happy to have run into George and Alex again, and I'm even more happy to have met Mitch and Alan. You guys do a great job at running your hostel keep up the work and I'm almost positive you're gonna see me again later down the road so thank you for your hospitality guys it went above and beyond expectations so that about wraps it up have a good night people and we'll see you tomorrow